All right, guys. So finally, I'm declaring this 1.33. Uh, as you know, I've decided to start uh, for the Git repo version, GitHub repo version. I'm just going to push and commit and push the updates as I go because if I have a power outage or something like, I don't know if something gets corrupted, I want to be able to, you know, I don't want to lose all that. So that's the way I'm going to handle it uh, for now. Um, I just, I haven't even had time to look into uh, that other stuff, but yeah, I don't even know where to start on this update because there's so much stuff that I've uh, done. Uh, yesterday and today especially uh but a lot since wednesday so you'll see that all these are zeroed in and that's uh for both guns And then go to these. And then I have uh, I have these these uh, montages are looking a lot better now with this new approach. The problem with the hand it's it's it was happened during retargeting. I, I can fix that later. It's not that big of a deal, but uh, I'm not going to fix it right now. Uh, but you'll see that the Oops, my bad. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to push that. That was the wrong button. Okay. So, yeah, I'll fix that later. Um, but, yeah, we have our reloads here now. And if we're not aiming, uh, it'll automatically aim, and then it'll go back. That way it plays right, and it works uh, for the rifles, too. And I'll add a holding the barrel thing eventually, uh, maybe next update, uh, as well as uh, maybe doing that twist bone uh, pose driver that I was telling you about, the post-process blueprint. Uh, so I'll, I'll do that as well uh, for these metahumans, since these uh, have twist bones and they don't have corrective bones. Um, so I'll make uh, something like that for the, uh, these guys. And then I'll probably do a video too to show you guys with character creator characters how to do it with those. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, so we have, you know, our uh, crouching and uh, now the crouching and the aiming doesn't look funny uh, whenever we're idle uh, like it did before. Yeah, so I fixed that. And let's see, what else did I uh, fix? Jesus Christ, I don't even know. There was so much stuff. I have this auto aim, so I'm just pressing fire. It'll automatically stop aiming. Uh, and then I have uh, the, if you, I do have a debug thing that will toggle it on and off. And I'll show you that here in a bit. Uh, but that's mostly for debugging. Like whenever we're trying to zero in the guns for our uh, characters, we'll, we'll use that uh, input action to toggle it instead. Um, or you can just hold down the right mouse button and then when you release it, they'll stop aiming. So yeah, a lot of uh, little uh, quality of life features like that. Now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start going over the uh, fixes in here because I don't even remember what all I did. It was a lot. Yeah. So crouch state refactor and auto aim. I went over that. Uh, yep. So I fixed a bug with the metahumans. Their uh, layering data was not loading properly. Linked anim layer. Output warning fix, yeah, so that was kind of like a minor thing, but there were some warnings being thrown in the editor every time we would uh, uh, link a new anim layer. Yeah, so I fixed that. And then I just fixed it by doing extra cast. 
inside of there. I was trying to avoid that because if you ever want to repurpose it to another character blueprint, it's going to be more cast. You have to go in there and, and fix, but uh, inside the linked anim layers, but there's, there was no other way to, to get rid of those warnings. Yeah. So I, I kept, uh, I kept trying different things. Uh, that's why there are so many of those pushed right there. There was another auto aim uh, bug that I'd overlooked. I had to go back and fix it. Uh, rifle layering adjustment. Those were the uh, layering settings. Uh, yeah, further tweaks. Uh, Meta human males were zeroed. Uh, update to that that layering uh, live retargeting setting specifically. I fixed the resting pose. There was uh, an issue with the resting pose for the mill. Oh, yeah. So I forgot to uh, tell you about that. So if we come in here, uh, some of you all might know that the fingers uh, are have been notoriously bad for retargeting for metahumans. I came up with a method, uh, and I've described it a few times already, but I came up with a method for fixing uh, that specifically for them. I had to do it separately for the males and the females, uh, but you'll see that the fingers uh, look good. Now, when I now when I uh, do when I make an alternative version of this where he's holding the barrel, you'll still be able to use this pose for SMGs or anything with a grip coming coming off of it. That's the reason why I designed it the way that I did. Uh, I, I thought maybe it would be easier to repurpose it for a grip if that were the case. Um, but yeah, and you'll see that the finger's actually bent inwards uh, right there. But yep. So the aiming is all zeroed in on those. And if we if we come over here, I only had to fix those for one and it fixed it for all of them, uh, but it didn't fix them for the females. So I had to go back and do it separately. Uh, that fixed separately for the females. Um, yeah. And so you'll see uh, their fingers are uh, Cur uh, curled a little bit differently than the males were, but that's because I did there separately. But yeah. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, female metahuman zeroed. Yep, and fingers fixed. I'd uh, you can read that if you want. Universal aim offset refactor and unarmed mode re uh, introduced. Uh, and montage handling refactor. So I'll go ahead and go over that. Um, so I added uh, a thing so that you could check to uh, say, hey, we do want to layer, uh, we do want to uh, override layering settings or we don't. That way um, it wouldn't even bother doing the validation check or anything like that. That was probably somewhat redundant, but I went ahead and did it for brevity's sake anyway. Um, so these are no longer actually being layered. By default, the is layered is false. It does have layering settings, but these layering settings do not get applied. I just left them there for uh, reference purposes. Um, there's probably some issues with those settings. I don't know. I haven't really looked that deep into it, but I know there was issues with the method that I was doing using before. I just threw that together real fast because some people were uh, were asking me at the time to do reloads, but I was really busy. So uh, I, I've done a proper one now. So whenever we reload the, the weapon, if we're not uh, aiming, we're going to aim. And then after the montage ends, we're going to stop aiming. Uh, I, I leave a little window there. Uh, that way it gives it time to fully blend out uh, before we do that, um, before we disable the aiming. So over here, uh, there's a problem with the foot placement uh, node. It's plant settings. So if we go over here to uh, the IK correction, the foot play, uh, placement that the original one that came with uh, the gas project, there's a problem with the plant. Uh, it seems to be a bug. 
I'm not 100% sure if it is or not, but I do know that it's directly uh, related to the foot locking uh, functionality of the foot placement node. And so I've completely disabled foot locking uh, for uh, that foot placement node. The foot placement node is still active. It does still offset the feet uh, just like before, but it's just not locking the feet. So uh, until I can figure out why playing montages causes the feet to start sliding backwards uh, or any kind of layering on the legs causes the feet to start sliding backwards, uh, we're just gonna have to disable it. So yeah, I tried various different things in here and I just couldn't figure out how to keep it active and and not have the feet slide. So you'll notice that I've refactored this once again. Sorry guys, <laughs> but I'm trying to get this in a, uh, I had to do that for the uh, AO. I realized that I was kind of doing a, a bunch of redundant checks and stuff on, uh, on this. And so I wanted it to be more performance friendly. Uh, this actually removed two uh, blend by bull uh, checks and it removed a cached pose. So it's a plus that I integrated this into one aim offset. So I also cleaned this up some more. Yep, so that's, that's that. Let me see if there's anything else here for you. Oh yeah, so for the unarmed, uh, if we go over here to this and we look at the held objects, so you'll see that now we have uh, an unarmed state inside of here, and it's, it, it just doesn't have any data asset assigned to it. So if you fire this event with no data asset assigned, it's going to automatically assume that you want no layering settings, so and that you don't want uh, layering. So this is how I'm checking to see if we're actually layering or not. It was the easiest way for me to uh, keep track of that. And so if we open this up, it's the same thing. It's just everything is zeroed out. So I think that basically covers it. It was a lot of stuff that I uh, did, uh, but yeah. So I wanted, I'm glad to get all that out of the way. There's still some things, you know, that uh, I'd like to do like, you know, the, the pose for the hand where he's actually gripping the barrel. Uh, I avoided that before, mostly because of the issue with the wrist. But now that I know how to make a uh, pose driver that helps prevent that twisting, uh, collapsing of the wrist uh, problem, now I can introduce uh, a hold the barrel pose without it collapsing the wrist and then show you guys how to do the same. Uh, so you can be looking out for that video because I'll be dropping a video on that here eventually, maybe next weekend, we'll see. Uh, it depends on how busy I am over the over the next week. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's basically it guys. Uh, I appreciate the support for this project. Uh, I kind of expected a lot of backlash for uh, taking this over to Kofi, but uh, the community has been pretty supportive, so I appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next video.